You know what really grinds my gears? There's something that grinds my gears. Say what? Speak loud. Say, say what? I can't hear you. Speak up. I can't hear you. Ah. You know, those who follow this channel, when I start off that way, there's something that grinds my gears. December the 7th, 2007. I was sitting in a courtroom and the judge asked the Missouri Department of Mental Health, do you have anything else to say? After four hours, we were there almost seven hours. This was the second part of the hearing. They are doing and saying and saying everything they can, trying to convince the judge to keep me locked up. Do you have anything else to say? No, Your Honor, we we rest our case. Sir, speaking to me, the judge speaking to me now. You do realize if I rule in your favor, you do realize that you will not receive any kind of help from the state. You're on your own. Yes, I do. With that being said, I grant your motion to be released from the custody of the Missouri Department of Mental Health and this court wishes you well. This court is now expired. It's not no longer in session. After 10 years of fighting these lying bastards, Angel Snub Nub 7 was free. I spent so much time fighting these evil wicked beasts I couldn't I couldn't even enjoy. I couldn't even celebrate. I was I had no emotion. So myself and one of the ladies that was escorting me, we drove back to the to the mental facility because I I was working. I had a car. It was time for me to leave. Now usually how these things go, when you enter the, the Department of Mental Health, most times you are brought in with, with shackles. The police had to come get you. I turned myself in when they told me I need to. I took a cab and I gave myself over to their custody. And I would leave, not in shackles, I would leave in my car, not in a cab, in my car, with a cell phone and credit cards. So my escort, Miss Ann, we walked through the halls, 
and people know now and they heard that I am free and I walked through the halls go into my room pack my things so I can leave none of the bastards that was involved trying to keep me locked up there was no sign of none of them they were not around there were certain staff that was of course there where was where was the laughing oh you're gonna be here the rest of your life laughing giggling making mockery of a person's situation giggling I can't hear you. Where, 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 where did it all go? Silent. 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 You know what really grinds my gears? Where did it all go? I'm walking through the hall to my room. Pack my things to get in my car making more money than most of these staff people when I was locked up. No laughter. You gonna do what we tell you. What, 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 what are your orders? You're not so tough now. I'll meet you outside and beat your ass. I'm free. Silence. So here we are, 2022, and I go to court. And the court is is over. Just so I will render a decision. There's no decision that has been made. But yet, silence. Where, where your big mouth at? Make sure to, y'all can download, y'all have my permission to download this video uh, and, and uh, replay this video. If you want to, only if you want to. If you don't, that's fine with me. I don't care, you know. But just make sure you put this in your or in your archives, archives. Okay, make sure you put it in your archives. Save it. Angel Snap Up Seven thought he was gonna get away with what he was doing. He thought, but bitch nigga, I done filed a countersuit claim against your ass for slander and defamation. Tell that. Tell that to your audience. Tell that to a Twin Pyramid and all those different, uh, uh, you know, uh, personalities that you have. Tell that to Mellow Cap and Twin Pyramid. Silent. Silent. You know what really grinds my gears? Angel Snubbed Up 7 is an escaped mental patient. He's a pedophile. He did this to me, laughing. Oh, Angel Snub Nub Seven, he's not gonna recover from this. Where's all the talk? The people and their evil staff in the mental institution. When I walk through the halls to go get my things and pack and leave, because I'm supposed to be there forever. All looks stupid. No decision has been made. June 29th, 2022. You only hear from me. Silence. I can't hear you. Where's 
with the big mouth. Silent. 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 Nobody. All look stupid. Took me 10 years to get out of crazy house. How long have we been messing with this YouTube fiasco? Take time. How are you going to tell me who I am? I'm not an escape mental patient. I'm not a pedophile. I'm none of those things that you're talking about. I have no mental illness. I'm not a criminal. Now they all silent looking stupid. How are you going to tell me about me? How some pecker woods going to tell me I'm a criminal and mentally ill? You don't know nothing about me. You just believe lies. See what happened when we believe lies and falsehood? Especially on me. The main reason you two, all these folks, supported the lies about Angel Snub Number 7 simply because they don't like the message that comes from the Realities Temple on Earth ministry they cannot debunk, they cannot refute they cannot challenge what we bring from this platform they can't do it so there was an opportunity that arisen where perhaps we can destroy the messenger because if we cut off the head we destroy the body. Let's destroy the character of Angel Snub Nub 7. Because we can't do nothing with his message. Let's destroy him as a person. Let's paint him as a pedophile. Because nobody wants to be associated with a pedophile. He's crazy. He's crazy. He twazy. That's a bad look. He don't like women. He might like men. Let's paint him as horrible as we can. Spread the lie. Let's tell the court he's a mental patient. He needs Seroquel. He needs his drugs. Let's lie to the court because we don't want to be held accountable that we believe a lie from a serial killer and a child abuser because that's what Anthony Ross is. Child abuser. And now he's a murderer. But we believe him. We don't want to accept and hold ourselves responsible accountable because we believe the lie. I don't want to hold myself accountable because I stabbed Angel Snub Nub 7 in the back three times and now four. So let me paint him in a bad light. I don't care what he did for me. I was a brother to Anthony Marlon Ross and his family. I was a brother and a lover to Sister Noble. I was good to poor child. But they foul. And don't want to hold themselves accountable and be responsible for who they are and what they do. Selfish and greedy and grandiose. Dreams of stardom. I want people to follow me all over the world. 
I want to be a celebrity. Angus Snubbed Up 7 didn't do nothing to these people. Only thing I know, I had to do, whether it was the state of Missouri or YouTube, take Michael Jackson at advice. And he said, keep the faith. Don't let nobody turn you around. Just stay coarse. Because I know me. You're not going, going to be able to paint me something that I am not. So the state of Missouri, who has more power than these flunkies on YouTube, they fail. So what make you think that you going to succeed where the state of Missouri failed. And now there's silence. 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 They, they feeling stupid, looking stupid. You mess with the wrong one. You don't have to be believing God to be a righteous person. Am I perfect? No. But I'm striving to be right. And that's why right has come to me. And will continue to come to me. You know what really grinds my gears? Silent.